say I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is it tripping for a follow? Who all in the air like Showtime and the Hey guys. Wait, I got a Cordy over there. Yo. She'll be our camera, camera woman today. But I will start off by uh, saying that we're still in Vestuvik. We just finished Cordy's license, which you can see in the previous episode. And she's very happy about that. And uh, so am I, naturally. So it rained all night, but this boulder is completely dry. And it's one that I've been meaning to try for quite some time. I'm very stoked about it. It has this very unique move that I also saw on Nils Favre's Instagram. Uh, that I've actually never seen outdoors before. You know that regular hand swap thing uh, that you can see indoors in some competitions is here on an outdoor boulder that I definitely want to get on. So uh, yeah, the, the, the grade is between 7B plus and 8A plus. It has literally every single suggestion. So I have no idea how much of a battle it'll be, but I'm sure it's going to be a good time regardless. Hey, Lord Jesus, I know I'm wrong. If you find favor upon me, could you please send me one little black baby like me alone? She could be from Liberia or Congo. She could be a dark skin like Pete Yango. Lord, I ain't picky picky. And I don't care if she too picky picky or she thicky thicky. You want a girl from a boy band, girl? This ain't pretty Ricky. Okay, ride for me. But that's your mind. Take your time with me. Had to go quick and one guy for me. All my young people, they gon' slide for me. E -e -e. Don't my time, you count. Time with me. I'ma get this paper like this. Shine on me. I got a bus that rolling just to keep the time with me. I was from Brother Ali, see it shine on me. E -e -e. Okay, live from Aruba. I heard like a very small finger pop. Not a fully pop. But it sounded like one first, so I wanted to be slower with the first, with the first move. I'm gonna warm my fingers up a little bit more before I try it, so I don't injure myself. Injuries are no fun. No. No, we've had many of them. And uh, I'm not very good at warming up when I'm outdoors, so I gotta get better at it. was flawless, Emil. So actually, we are gonna run along now because we just heard a wild boar. Yeah. We think. We heard something that sounds very sounds much like, like a it. Pig. Usually they're very friendly to people or more so <laughs> scared of people. But yeah. we had a big scare last year where we got stuck up on a rock from a you could call it a bear scare. So we were stuck for an entire night actually. But that's a story for a different moment. Uh, but anyways, we're a little bit we're just not, not so psyched of wildlife, that. so we're gonna we're gonna it's run fine. down now. We're gonna we're, we're, yeah, we're, bye. We're gonna wrap bye bye. this up. Okay, so we fled the wild boars and we reached actually the roof that we had in the previous episode, uh, the shadow roof that Megos put up uh, an AP on. It's kind of mossy. I f later looked it up, and there's actually the same start, but it goes out to the left on the slopers, and is graded like 8A plus 8A something around there. That looks super fun and much. A lot, kind of like, maybe not my style, but I, you kind of lock your heel in this and then just do a powerful move. And I kind of like those type of moves where you have to use your your legs quite a bit because mine are not very light. So they, they gotta be used for something. So yeah, I'm gonna try this one. That's gonna be a good time. Hopefully I can have a good shot at it before the, the rain hits us. I'm not sure where I hit it, hit it. I think it was like around here. Yeah. Good first burn. I noticed like uh, in the middle of the move that I could really lock my toe against the wall, which I hadn't done when I put it up. So I think I'm gonna try to start from here instead and put the heel slightly further out. So not in, cause I put it behind my hand instead of outside of it, which didn't give me much room to put the heel as I wanted it. Far. That's cool. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm clearly going for the slope, the lower one. So I, I'm gonna start from that one and try and do the sequence out left and just see how that feels. Um, but it does feel very within reach. I just gotta, just gotta figure out how to move there. Cool movement. You think that's possible? It definitely is. <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's the best. There's a lot of, like all the holds are kind of bad. Not terrible, but just not very good. Maybe in here. This spot is pretty good. Yeah! Oh, that's so cool. Come on. Bucket jug up on the left there, so if I can hit this, the swing was quite easy. But the thing is, you hit something that's like not really a hold, it's just like your hand against this really nice feature. And so I think I had to hit it quite well to hold it, but getting to it was definitely not too difficult. And I can, I think I could do that quite easily if I get, yeah, I get to here. Cool, I'll brush it up again and then execute it. It's really close. It's very hard to generate momentum uh, in the right direction. I have my hands on the holds, but it's like I was a little bit too far out here to engage, too far on the right to engage, but it did feel good. Wow, that was so that was cool. So good. Oh, that was so cool. It's quite big, so like my right hand was like this when I caught it, and I caught it a little bit too low. So both my arms were like completely extended. Okay, now I think I got the hang of it now. Foot slightly further down, and just get a really big swing. Yeah, that feels good. That should go on the next burn. Oh no! Oh, I had the right hand and I had like everything felt so good tension wise. What happened? I, I, I just, uh, I. You missed it? No, I didn't shoot hard enough to it. Because that's the thing, like, if you go too hard, you're, you're left with like this momentum if you go too far that you kind of can't deal with because it's, the holes are really shitty. But if you go too little, well, then that happens. You don't actually reach it. If you hit it with a perfect momentum, you know, the type of. That's the type of move where you just land and it's gonna look like a freaking 6A move when I do it. I just gotta get that momentum going as well as I can. And then we should be good. And then hopefully I won't fall off the dyno at the end, which was hard as well. So I just realized something. I've been hitting this one slightly too far on the left. It's a lot easier, or on, sorry, on the right. It's a lot easier the further I get on left. This is the best part. This is okay. And this is like pretty bad. So I think if I go a little bit harder, the next move should be quite manageable, like getting this one. It's cool, it's like three, four hard moves right in a row with no like chilling in between, really. Very cool. This time, no fuck ups.
Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh. That's such a sweet ending. Man, what a boulder. <laughs> Favorite of the trip. That was super cool. I was really, really not sure that we would have time to try this or even, and let alone do it. The move out from the roof that I did with the moon kick into the sloper. Also one of the sickest, like in this video, I'll have done two of the sickest moves I've ever done outdoors. They were both amazing. And uh, it was super cool because like, when I had the this crimp, I didn't have it good at all, the left hand. So I just kind of slapped my right hand and the left hand didn't do much. So I just used my feet to like move the right hand up on the sloper. Uh, so yeah, sick. I think uh, maybe this is a shorter episode. If it is, you know, that's fun sometimes as well, I hope. Do you have any length that you guys prefer you watch on YouTube? Uh, I'll probably just do whatever I feel like anyways, but it's good to know what the audience wants. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Lastly, we are soon going on the trip. Uh, so if you don't want to miss out on like a ton of nice hard boulders around Switzerland and Fontainebleau and Albrecht and other areas around YouTube or <laughs> on Europe, uh, then yeah, make sure you subscribe and uh, you won't miss a thing, hopefully. Uh, cool. Peace out, folks. See you in the next one.